This is a quick look in how I set up my LED pixel, uh, pixel mapping setups in Touch Designer with a previs that you can see and preview what the output uh, of the setup will look like. I start with my geometry of where my pixels exist. So in SOPs, in like a geometry, I'll either make an object with Blender or you know, starting an Illustrator, I'll make an SVG, take it into Blender to make an OBJ object. Uh, bring it in as a SOP to Touch Designer. I'll convert that into the X and Y data um, with SOP to CHOP. And then I'll go further and convert that into a top. And this is so that I can have a UV map um, that's in just red and green. The red and green values representing the X and Y values or the U and V values um, between, between zero and one. Uh, that I want to sample from my source. And so my source in this example is just a noise top that's, um, you know, moving, is animated through in, uh, in RGB. And so um, these, these come together in a remap top. So the remap top will take in the first source, the image source, and then using the second source, which is meant to be a UV map, an XY coordinate map, that like this is only 50 by one pixel. So it's 50 pixels wide, one pixel tall. Um, but it's those 50 points where my LEDs are located in a zero to one uh, mapping. So um, it treats this as zero, you know, left to right, zero up and down. And so I pull from this image, this, this color, and I need to change this actually to, um, to be RGB. So yeah, now I'm getting the correct RGB data showing in there. I convert that to uh, a top. So I have all my pixel data from my 50 pixels. And then in order to send out to a DMX or lighting controller, I then shuffle those uh, values together so that they're instead of three separate channels with RGB, they're, it's in one single, um, one single channel that's RGB, RGB, RGB as a DMX controller will expect to receive. And then I send that out uh, with the whole, the whole channel as the packet that I'm sending out to DMX. Here I've got a, a little instancing setup that previews what my my export will look like. So bringing in my my UV values as uh, my RGB values from the UV chop to show where my XY location of my instances are. And then I use my chop with the RGB separated out into separate channels as my, my color values. So here we can see if I had this LED ring set up somewhere with 50 pixels around it, uh, this is what I can expect the output to look like more or less.